Good afternoon to all you awesome folks watching this channel right now. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. I hope you're all well. Now then, ladies and gents, who still has fond memories of their first foyer into the wonderful world of bushcraft? And more specifically, who still remembers building their first set of homemade bushcraft kit? I certainly do, and I still remember the great pleasure and excitement that brought to me when I was building my first alcohol stove, my first swig stove, my first homemade cook kit, comprised of everything and anything I could find in the cupboards at home. And that one day I spotted my missus design a leather belt thinking eight inches off that would make an absolutely fantastic strap. And in my honest opinion, nothing gives you that greater sense of achievement than building your own gear, getting out into the field, testing that gear and finding that it partially works. <laughs> Also guys, I would like to apologise in advance for any background noise you may hear in the video today. We have some very, very selfish dog walkers who cannot see me filming in the woods. And they're being very, very noisy. Sheer ignorance. Now, where was I? Oh yeah. So, eventually we all move on from our homemade kits and we end up spending silly amounts of money building our bushcraft kits just to live like a homeless person. No disrespect to the homeless. Now recently guys, I've been inspired by one particular channel. And this channel is pretty much all about budget gear, building your own gear, and again, getting out, testing that gear, and having loads of fun while doing it. So watching this channel has got me to thinking guys, and I'm thinking how much fun am I actually missing out on? Because I've not actually built a piece of homemade gear now in a very, very long time. Going on years and years in fact. So I set myself a challenge. But the challenge was for me to build myself a fully functional cook kit using only thrift stores, as you guys call them over in the States, and charity shops, as we call them. I had a budget of £10, no more. Anything under it was absolutely fantastic. And I'm glad to report back over the last two weeks of uh, charity shop hunting, I have built a pretty cool little cook kit, I think, anyway. So today, guys, we're going to check out my budget bargain basement. Woodland Cook Kit 3250. Now, before we carry on with the video, guys, I would just like to send out my massive thanks and gratitude to Wal from Wal's Wild Camping. Wal has been um, a very, very long time viewer of the channel now and he's become a very, very good friend as well to me and my missus. Um, this year, he sent me over a fantastic little Christmas present in the shape of a, and my first, outhouse. On a couple of videos now, he has uh, commented saying he's sick of seeing me getting my knees dirty. Um, so we sent me this fleece lined oil cloth, we're going to use this today, I really don't want to because it has been raining, the ground is wet, but I guess this is why he sent it, so we're going to use this today. Oh, poor thing. So ladies and gents, we are going to run through each component that builds up this cut kit, and stay tuned because at the end of the video, I will be gifting this away for anyone that might want to start their first bushcraft cut kit, and this would make, I think, a great addition to your kit. So. Again, stay tuned. So guys, first of all, in this cook kit, we have all equipment necessary to one, feed yourself in the woods, and two, get yourself a lovely pot of cowboy coffee on, a rolling boil, should you desire. We also have eating utensils, a cooker, and um, a bit of fuel to get you going also. So starting at the base of the cook kit, we have a very generous size aluminium eating bowl. This can also be used as a cooking pan. I was quite amazed when I found this pot because it does nest quite nicely with the actual um, billy pot there. So that's your first piece, the aluminium pot. Inside there we have a pot grabber. Again this can be used with the pot so you can use that for cooking over flames or over the cooker we've included in this. This is just a bag of my wax covered um, cotton pads. Never leave home without these, these are a sure fire way, excuse the pun, of getting your fire going. So there we have that. I will give you the price of all this at the end of the um, show. So, second of all actually we have the billy pot. Now this is going on to, I'd say, two litres easily. We have a nice tight fitting lid. The handle is just something I uh, concocted yesterday, I didn't like the one that was on it, it was a bit rusty. But the actual pot, I think, itself is aluminium. Uh, stainless steel, should I say. We have a removable bale arm. 
And I, I should say that the meat and uh, potatoes of this were pretty much found in the same shop on the first venture out. So inside we have a, again, tight fitting lid. We have a cup, an enamel steel cup for all your drinking needs in the woods. I actually wanted to keep that myself, but I thought, no, I'll throw it in. It came from a charity shop, so we'll throw it in. Coffee, again, never leave home without that. And inside here you have your cooker. Now this is pretty much a staple in um, any beginner's bushcraft kit. It is your stainless steel um, wash basin IKEA hobo stove. I started with one of these, still knocking about somewhere. But this will pretty much work as is. You don't need, you can mod them um, to silly proportions like I've done in the past, but that is functional as is, and we can rest the pots on there. So that is your cooker. Utensils guys, and you might laugh at this, but um, I've actually thought about this somewhat. I visited, is it Horton's Canadian Coffee uh, recently um, for a meal, and in there I found to my delight, my extreme delight, they did wooden knives and forks. Check that out. There's enough there to keep you going for weeks on end, many adventures. So, and I thought at the end of this, when you finish with them, you can throw them straight into the, the fire, leave no trace and all that. And then we went to M&S for the food I'm going to cook on this today to show you. And when we checked out M&S, they had wooden spoons on the counter. I could not believe my tiny little eyes. So there we have it, guys. You've got knives, forks and spoons, all very disposable. Even if you left these in the woods, they're going to break down. Biodegradable. Um, so that pretty much covers the full contents of the cook kit and there is the um, billy pot. Look lovely that hanging over a fire. So today guys we're going to cook up a little meal on this just to demonstrate it all working. Um, and we're going to cook a lovely woodland BLT, bacon, lettuce and tomato on some ridiculously priced ingredients um, that were picked up from Buddy Marks and Spencer's yesterday. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and enjoy. We're going to go collect some firewood. Let's get on. So first of all, guys, we're going to start with a lovely pot of cowboy coffee. Only coffee suitable for the woodland. Put the grounds in there in a sec. We're going to light the stove. A couple of these fantastic fire lighters again. If anyone does want the kit at the end of this video, I will put a pack of these in so you get that lovely scent of pine forest while you're cooking. No bushcraft magic today guys, we're just going to go straight in with a lighter. Always have a lighter as part of your kit. Now in my line of work guys you would be amazed at how many discarded Bic lighters like this I come across on my daily walk and all I do, I pick them up, uh, check if they need flints, which most of them usually do, that's why they've been thrown away and um, once they've got a flint in them, they're good to go and they go straight in the kit. So I have got an abundance of um, lighters in pretty much every one of my kit bags, pockets, everywhere. So today guys we're going on with a Brazilian dark ground roast and we're going to use one of the uh, disposable spoons 
all cooking and cutting will take place with the um, disposable cutlery today guys. I could just tip this in but I am going to use every bit of gear I've got today so I'm guessing that should be enough for one. Well I am loving this um, ground cloth my knees have never been drier fantastic gift thank you very much and as soon as we've got some decent coals in there we are using hazel today there's not much more choice in this woodland unfortunately we've got a down birch but again that's it's going to burn up pretty quick uh, we've got some lovely chunks of hazel here so that should be sufficient fingers crossed oh i've just got a load of hazel in my bleeding coffee oh, my. even more nutritious now Right, so the coffee is on the boil. We get the pan sorted, we get the veg sorted, the salad, sorry. Yeah. We're organised. We are organised. So guys, we got some of the best. Almond's mayonnaise, we've got lettuce. Back bacon, unsmoked, either for me, not really fussed. We have got a lovely, this is like a red, um, what is it? West Country Extra Mature Cheddar and Red Leicester Loaf. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Absolutely spectacularly awesome. Got this lovely, juicy ripe uh, beef tomato. Straight onto the dirt, why not? And uh, this is my trusty Mora Bushcraft Black. I've had this for absolute yonks now. This is one knife I will never ever get rid of. Um, and this pretty much finds its way in my uh, generalised Bushcraft kit. Just so I can grab and go. And that will now reside back in the bag. For consumption later as part of the most phenomenal BLT in the woods you ever did see. I'd also just like to say guys while you're all there, um, for you that have um, taken it upon yourselves to take on the challenge, the type challenge, absolutely fantastic. I was not expecting a single soul to uh, pick that challenge up, but to my surprise, I think five, and I think we've got one coming as well, so six have actually um, done the challenge now, and I'm um, ashamed to say, every one of you, I've beaten me fair and square, but uh, in my defence, I don't care. <laughs> uh, now, I'll come back and I'll, um, I'll do it again in the future, but I just thought it'd be fun to show you another option of getting it up, and during... The process i've actually learned something as well from you guys so fantastic and that's what it's all about at the end of the day community and sharing and that's how we learn skills so amazing so even though i have avoided getting my knees dirty i'm still wiping cooking stuff all over me as you do the rain is holding off so far we have had a few pitter patters on the tarp but I think we'll uh, dodge the rain today, guys. Right, what is next? Pretty much nothing until my coffee's done. Guys, I've come to a realisation. I cannot believe how much fun and what a blast it is just playing with this homemade kit today in the woods. In fact, I'm having so much fun, I've decided to keep it. I'm selling my titanium bush box, I'm selling all my titanium gear, I'm selling my Frost River bag, from now on, I'm using Bag for Life and this. That is it. Maybe a couple of newspapers for my shelter. I've just put a couple of um, splints under the pot. This just gives you room to um, put your fuel in underneath. It was performing quite well without them, but um, the coffee is done, guys. It is coffee time. Glove on, because I have just burnt my hand off camera. I won't be doing that again. But yeah, what a fantastic little kit this is. 
So let's get that fire stoked again. And in a minute we will do the coffee dance, which I believe is one cup of cold water in the coffee and then plenty of this action. I've seen it on Kent Rowling's coffee. Top channel, go check it out. So guys, to this we're going to add uh, a drop of cold water. And then we're going in with a gravity drop. And this is supposed to help all the uh, ground settle to the bottom. Oh, that looks like ground free coffee. Coffee accomplished, guys. Cheers. And I don't know what it is, but that is definitely the best coffee I've ever had, ever in the world, in my life. Oh, that's such a nice cup to drink out of as well. If anyone does want this at the end of the video, would you be uh, sorry to lose the cup or let me know down in the comments. How many slices you reckon? All of it. All right, let's get that in there. It does look non-stick, this pot as well, guys, so we should have no problems cooking this bacon in here, as long as it doesn't touch the sides. I think it'd be rude not to use at least three quarters of the pack. All right, guys, I'm with the bacon. We're going in with a wooden fork. So let that start sizzling. And we're getting ever closer to the final product, guys. Again, cheers. Check it guys, lovely charred bacon. This does look absolutely delicious guys. Check it. Cutting it a bit thin there. Oh, do we toast it? Get cheese in there. Yeah. Do we do the lettuce or the bacon? Oh, now that's a charring. Should have left the other one longer. Bugger it. Right, um, bacon. I'm gonna go with bacon. Oh, it's crispy. And that pan, guys, is um, bang on as well. Non-stick, nothing, look. Nothing stuck to that at all. And then we can sacrifice the wooden cutlery to the budget bushcraft gods afterwards. Get the charred bits on there as well. Oh, come on, guys. More mayo. <coughs> it's got to be done. Oh, yeah. oh. Sorry, well, I'll clean it. I'll clean it. Don't need worry. All right, this is going to have to be, guys, just a handful of lettuce. Just place it anywhere. Make sure the bacon does not fall off. We do not want any collateral damage. Oh. And then we're going on with a bum. Oh, my word.
Guys, you join me on the mossy stump because I forgot my chair. Oh. I cannot explain to your face now the feelings I am experiencing. Being here in this moment with this sandwich and this coffee. I will say it's somewhere between Valium and Ecstasy. Cheers guys. Get in to my mouth without all of my jacket. Mm. Nothing can beat a BLT apart from when you eat it in the woods, then you can beat it. Oh my delicious days, that is good. Still not enough mayo. Oh wow. Right guys, so, I will bring you a little closer and I will reveal to you the price I paid for all the components in that cook kit. And then I've just decided right at the second, I'm gonna put this to you as a challenge, if you choose to accept it. Right guys, now time for the price reveal. Now in hindsight, I wish I would've kept the receipts. I only got, I was only offered receipts for two things to be honest, but uh, I wasn't planning on making this a challenge, so you can believe what I say or not, but this is the ultimate, this is the truth. So, the billy pot, the stove and the aluminium fry pan, all together came in at four pounds. Um, the billy pot was priced at three. The um, stainless steel pot drainer stove uh, was priced at one pound. The pan didn't have a price, and when I took it to the silly said, let's just call it four quid, so I wasn't arguing. So four quid for that. The cup does indeed have a price underneath, uh, but I don't want to tip my coffee all over my face. That was 79 pence, and 79 pence well spent. I do like that cup, but I will be giving it away with the stove, with the cook kit. And the pot grabber was 50 pence, which brings us to a grand total of five pounds and 29 pence. Well under the 10 pound budget I'd set myself, and I was quite surprised but it does just show what you can pick up um, when you go looking for it. And that is a highly effective cut kit, and I'd be proud to own that as part of my kit. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, this is my challenge to you guys. Being as though you were so keen to jump on the last one. <laughs> so, set yourself a budget of £10. And I want you, again, you don't have to accept it if you don't want. Go out to your high street charity shops and thrift stores only. That is what is allowed. Um, and build yourself a cook kit with the components I've got, even more if you can afford to, with the 10 pound limit. You need a billy pot, a pot to drink out of, a pot to eat and cook in, and then your cooker. Anything you want to add on like um, sparks, pot grabber, stuff like that, totally up to you, but your budget is 10 pound. If you do accept and complete the challenge, do a video, put it on your channel and I'll do as I've done before. I'll screen record it and I'll feature your cut kits in an upcoming video. Also guys, last time I looked, the subscriber count was at 997 wonderful peopleisms that you are. Um, I did say I'll be doing a 50 pound voucher of your choice giveaway when we get a thousand. I'm going to stay true to that promise. I don't want any chance of jumping on board, so you do need to be subscribed to the channel, and I will be checking. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do a video um, just saying if you're in, I'm in, then I'll do a draw um, for the people in that in the comments, in the video comment section of that video, if that makes sense. Brilliant. We got there. Mm.
Right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, I'm going to enjoy this delicious woodland coffee and then we're going to do the sacrificial burn of the wooden cutlery over the bushcraft fire, so I'll bring you back. Oh Lord mighty gods of the Budget Bushcraft Society, I pay homage to thee and sacrifice upon to thee three goats, uh, three wooden eating utensils. The knife with which we make pointy things. The fork with which we eat eaty things. And the spoon with which we spoon things. Another coffee. Bloody nori guys, that would have been a bit of a disaster. I've just been putting the tarp away and I've just realised I've not even given details. Now you could be the potential owner of this absolutely fantastic Woodland Budget Bushcraft Cook Kit. So if you would like to be potentially the new owner of such kit, just leave me a comment down in the comment section saying yes please, oh yes please sir, I would love that kit please sir something along them lines and I will pick a winner um, in the next video or two somewhere if you don't want it I'll gladly keep it myself just saying but I'm sure one of you guys could make good use out of this maybe for yourself um, and a startup kit or maybe give it to one of your kids to play with in the woods under supervision of course um, UK only sorry guys because if I do ship that abroad it's going to cost me um, probably the price of a full premium Bushcraft kit, so UK only on this one. But now, guys, I've got to go pick the missus up from shopping, so um, until the next one, you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. See you again, guys. Bye bye.